Welcome, everyone. Have Happy New Year. Um, today, uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, I only thought there would be just a handful of people, but there's a, about two handfuls, maybe three handfuls here. Uh, so thank you for coming. Uh, today is the eighth day of Christmas. Um, you know, it, in the song, I guess it's the eight maids milking, but today it looks like God gave us eight inches of snow instead. Um, so hopefully it doesn't turn out to be eight, but uh, today is the eighth day of Christmas. There still is, uh, you know, four more days, I guess, until the song goes, but there still is a whole week more of Christmas. Uh, so we celebrate Christmas all the way through even next weekend. Uh, so if your Christmas decorations are still up, keep them up for one more week. Um, Christmas goes all the way through next Sunday. Um, but uh, reminder, uh, school starts. School starts this Tuesday. Um, so for all of the parents watching online, and for one kid here, uh, school starts on Tuesday anyways. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, today we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany. So the wise men have made their way over along with the camels uh, in front of the baby Jesus. So today we, we celebrate uh, the coming of the Magi, of the three kings, or the, uh, the wise men, to, to Jesus. Um, so throughout our wanderings throughout time, Throughout their wanderings, we finally arrived at, at this special moment. So um, let us stand and let us greet our neighbor. And I should mention, I guess, today for, for ministries, uh, we're not going to take up a collection. There's just a basket in the back. And uh, also, I'll just take care of being the lecturer for the Mass today. And uh, we'll just need one Eucharistic minister when communion starts. Oh, perfect. perfect. For our opening song, um, let us sing We Three Kings, number 107, number 107. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar, fields and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, cease never over us all to reign. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, gladly racing, worship him, God on high. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and my sisters, we are guided by a star, guided by God to this holy place. And as we gather together today, celebrating these sacred mysteries, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, his presence among us. We, we gather knowing that he has 
and will forgive us of all of our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to us as a baby to save us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, who come into our lives every day to heal us. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, by your life, death, and resurrection have opened for us the way to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us say the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. May the splendor of your majesty, O Lord, we pray, shed its light upon our hearts, that we may pass through the shadows of this world and reach the brightness of our eternal home. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds covers the people. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and and Epheth, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the earth to the ends of the earth. Lords, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lords, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no more, no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace, That was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. 
that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. We saw, saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary's mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. I wonder what the Magi saw in that star that first night. What was it that motivated them to pack up everything and begin a journey to who know where? Something obviously had been revealed to them. But what was it? Was it something in the sky? Was it something in their mind and their heart? One of the frustrating things is we don't have much historical information about these wise men and their journey. St. Matthew says they, they come from the east. Some have speculated they they were from Persia. We like to think they were three, but St. Matthew doesn't say that. And the numbers varied throughout church history. We had two wise men initially, then three, then four, then eight. Sometimes we even have 12 wise men. We call them Casper, uh, Melchior, and Balthazar. But those names didn't come about until the 7th century. And what about the star? It's been viewed as a miracle, or just a regular star, a comet, or a conjunction or grouping of planets together. This lack of historical information is a reminder that this story, this epiphany journey, is not just the wise men's journey. It's everyone's journey. The truth of sacred scripture is never limited or contained, only in the past as a historical book. It's lived in the present. It has to be lived in the present. Now, I don't know what was in the sky or what they saw that night. 
I don't know what was in their minds or hearts, but I, I do know. I do know that there have been times when we've each experienced an epiphany, times when our night has been brightened, times when our minds have been illuminated, times when our hearts have been enlightened. Those times have showed to us that our life and our world, they're much larger than just us. These moments, they gave us the courage to travel beyond what seems comfortable or the places we usually go or follow. Epiphanies, they're that times when something calls us and moves us to a new place and we, we see God in a new way. That's what happened to these wise men. Something stirred within them and they began to wonder, to imagine that their lives were part of a much larger story. Could it be that the one who created life, who hung the stars in the sky, that, that God knew them? that God lived within these men, that he was calling these kings? Could it be that the light they saw in the sky was a reflection of the divine light that burns within each one of them, within each one of us? To think about these questions is to seriously begin our own journey. The journey took these wise men to a house where they found the answer to their questions in the arms of his mother, Mary. We may, we may travel a different route than these wise men did, but the answer is still the same. The answer is in our hearts that God is continually revealing himself in and through humanity in the flesh. He's given us our own epiphanies. Maybe it was the day in your life that you saw your first grandchild and saw the beauty of creation. Or maybe that day that you said, I love you, and you knew that it was more than just about physical attraction. Maybe it was the moment you really, truly believed your life was sacred and holy. Maybe it was the time you kept vigil at the bedside of someone you loved who was dying, and you experienced the joy that death is not the end. These are stories of our lives. Epiphanies that forever change who we are, how we live, and the road we travel. We don't have to go to Bethlehem to be guided to God as these wise men did. We just need to open our hearts to the one who is truly present to us today. Present on the altar and present in our midst. And let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. At the start of our new year, we open our hearts and our minds um, to this new life, to this fresh start, and we pray 
for the miracles of God's glory in our lives. For those who minister in the Lord's name, that they may proclaim to all people the saving power of Christ, we pray to the Lord. That world leaders may pay homage to the Lord by seeking an end of violence between nations and peoples, we pray to the Lord. That the hearts of all believers may overflow with joy at the manifestation of God's presence in the world, we pray to the Lord. That God's people may hear the poor when they cry, have pity on the weak, and open their hearts and hands to the needy, we pray to the Lord. That all who look for a star to guide them may discover the goodness of the Lord in people full of faith and love, we pray to the Lord. That all who suffer from any illness of any kind may find comfort and healing in the gentle presence of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For all those listed in our, in our book of intentions, and that we pray especially today for Bernice Kilberg, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have died, that they may experience the joy of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, your sons and daughters come from afar to pay homage to you. Clothe us in your mercy and be our source of radiant light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, there is no collection today, um, but for our preparation song, uh, let us sing number 91. Hark the herald angels sing number 91. Hark the herald's angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald's angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time behold him come, offspring of a virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, Hail the incarnate deity, pleased as man with us to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel, hark the herald's angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, our offerings, in honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son and the first fruits of the nations, that to you praise may be rendered and eternal salvation be ours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. So today for communion, we'll one person will be stationed here and the other here will come down this way and then we'll come down, well, this way for communion today. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by sacred nourishment, we implore your mercy, O Lord, that the star of your justice may shine always bright in our minds, and that our true treasure may ever consist in our confession of you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, please, please be safe as you uh, head back home, um, or wherever you're going after this. Uh, and happy Feast of the Epiphany to you. Um, typically, the Epiphany is like a time where you bless your homes. So you're welcome to take holy water with you as you go, or stop and take holy water anytime. Uh, sprinkle that holy water on your house. Um, I know there's a prayer, I think, in the bulletin for that. But um, on this Feast of the Epiphany, there's a special blessing to conclude Mass with. The Lord be with you. And let us pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out, in you, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you, and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage, pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him, whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. As we conclude Mass today, um, let us join in singing number 108, the first Noel, number 108. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep. On a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, 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 Noel. Born is the King of Israel. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. And to the earth it gave great light and so it continued both day and night. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel.